Coming up on Tech Talk, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and a first impression, a little bit of a review on my new Lacey 2 Big 20 terabyte external hard drive. And I'm testing it in RAID 0. It's coming up right now. The first thing you notice about this drive is how heavy it is. I believe it weighs six pounds. Of course, it came very well packed and it had an overabundance of electrical connections, I guess, for any part of the world. Instructions, quick guide, quick setup, all different. And it had two 120 volt plugs, too, a very short Thunderbolt 3 cable and a USB to Thunderbolt cable. And then, of course, the power brick. And like I said, it was very well packed. And when you take this drive out, you could tell it's got a lot of heft. The front has a USB 3 connector, SD card, and compact flash. The back has two Thunderbolts and one USB 3 and display port. I think they all use the 10 terabyte Iron Wolf Seagate drives, 7200 RPM. They're supposed to be indestructible. They're used in servers and backup systems. They're supposed to be pretty bulletproof. They're hot swappable. As you can see, they just unclip and slide right out. And once you get them out, if you look inside the enclosure, there's really not much to it. Fan in the back. And to put them back in, just slide them right in, they slide right in, and then they snap into place. First test I ran was on my Oracle hard drive enclosure with the two terabyte Western Digital 5400 RPM drive. And I used a project that was a 135 and a half gigabytes computer told me it was going to take about 26 minutes it's a final cut pro project and it actually uh, finished at a little bit over 25 minutes 45 seconds so the computer was pretty much right on next test was on the lacy usb3 usb-c four terabyte 7400 RPM drive, the same 135 megabyte or gigabyte project took, it said the computer said it would take 18 minutes. And again, it was pretty much right on. It finished just a little bit over 1824. Next, I tested it with my 10 terabyte G technology drive. It's Thunderbolt 3. I just got it recently. Took the same 135 gigabyte project, told me it would take about 14 minutes, and it did 14 minutes, 12 seconds, definitely the fastest drive by at least four minutes. And lastly, I'm going to test the new 20 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 in RAID 0. It's the same 135 and a half gigabyte project. The iMac said it would take seven minutes. But, but unfortunately, it was, it went well over that. In fact, it was, it finished at 1431, which is a full 19 seconds less than the G drive just with Thunderbolt. A little bit disappointing. First drive was the Western Digital 5400 RPM drive. Definitely the slowest. 52 write speed, 62 read. Next was the Lacey 4 terabyte USB 3, which was 120 megabytes right and 122 read. Next was the G Technology Drive 10 terabyte Thunderbolt 3, which came at 199 and 190. And lastly, my Lacey 2 Big 2 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 was the fastest at 466 megabytes right and 469 read. Then I even tested my 
2017 5K iMac, 3 terabyte Fusion Drive, which was the fastest of all, at 691 megabytes per second, right? And in a real fast 2422 megabytes per second read. Wow. To recap, I will just be editing on my iMac and then just backing everything up on the other drives, the 20 terabyte uh, Lacey and the um, G technology drive. And then I can, I can back up the Lacey to the 10 terabyte and have some redundancy there. But um, hope this helps you a little bit. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.